good afternoon, evening, morning, whatever. I'm not tired this time, so that's good, right? Because last time I was tired. And that just didn't work out. Like at all, right? So, today, we're going to play some more Resident Evil Zero. As Wesker and Rebecca. And it should be interesting. I mean, after all, it was fun last night. We just blazed through everything. I think we fought the centipede and then I saved. But that entire time, I was very tired. So, today... Ooh, that's a cool looking thing. Uh, shoot. Typewriter. It's a cool looking typewriter in the save scene green. We're gonna pick continue. Uh, are the faint sounds of footstep those of survivors? That's what it says. I'm waiting for it to load up before I do everything. Okay. I believe that we're good. Yes, I I have a feeling that we are good. So here we go. Into the fray. Oh. Let's, uh... That's Ox Game. There we go. Welcome to another wonderful round of Torber's cheating at playing a game. Of course. Of course he's cheating. I don't always cheat. You stay Just here. Fine. You know. Come on. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Um, we're just doing this for the fun. We're not, we're not being serious at all. We've already beaten it. Wow, look at this kitchen. They put a lot of detail in there. See, so get your food and. They serve. The only thing that's kind of weird to me is that this doesn't look like a decent sized um, mess hall type of situation. Right? Because uh, it's supposed to be a training facility, right? So unless there are other buildings. I mean, look at this. It's not really that big. Let's see. These tables look like they could fit four people, right? So there's, um, four tables there. That's 16. Yeah, yes, it's a reasonable size. I, I don't think it, like, is infantry training type of thing. It could be, but it could be like their elite forces or something. I mean, if I had to guess. Let's go to that uh, other section. I don't like that his eyes close. glow. I don't like that. Why? Why does Wesker in this one's eyes glow when they wouldn't canonically, they wouldn't, wouldn't uh, do it. Oh no! Get back! Oh! Oh, we're fine. Good. We he missed us or something. Very good. Very good. Let's uh keep on trucking. No, that is the wrong dang thing. We have to use a fire key. Oh, 
Oh. Oh shoot, we're at caution now because of stupid explodey poop leeches. Can't believe that. We've worked so hard not to be that way. I can't believe you can't shoot the legs. Hey, Silver Apocalypse, it's going okay. How are you doing? I, cheating like no other, uh, today. Just to mess around in the game, basically. Follow me. I hope you're having a good day and a good week so far. Oops. Also, whoops. Gotta make sure we're going to the right door. We have a fire key to use. Oh. There we go. It's been an interesting week. I am fine, everybody's fine, but we went to the ER on Monday and didn't get out until like 12.45 and then yesterday I was just really tired. I did successfully mow my front yard though, so that was good yesterday. Thanks, cat. Yeah, we already read that. I mean, Tigger, you had your chance earlier today to be all pay attention to me. What do we get? Oh, yes. The clock hand. Now we get to make our way all the way back this to is the okay. top floor to set a clock to 8.15. Yes. Oh. I see you, cat. Why do you have to get on me? Well, this is fun. I'm getting <laughs> nudged by a cat to pet him and all this stuff. Again, um, Silver, if you didn't hear me, uh, I, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good. You're having an excellent week. The whiny pitched noise of my computer might be going away next week. So that's cool. But we'll have more information on that. This Saturday, maybe. So... That's good. That's good. It's Wednesday, so... Thankfully, it's... Well, work week is almost done for some people. I'm 
I'm surprised this puzzle isn't harder. Should be like, you move the hour hand and the minute hand moves a little bit too. Just to mess with everybody. Okie dokie. Well, now that we've got that moving, let's go check out those meeting rooms before we go into the... <laughs> uh, before we go into the projector room. Because we need both slides, and I think one of those rooms contains that. What are you looking at? Huh? Oh, well, look, there's a meeting room right here. Let's just go in there. There we go. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> there we go. That's exactly what we need here. And now, of course... We have another room to go check out, which we'll do next. Before we do the slides, because we need to make sure we cover all the ground we can. It's important. Without checking that, uh, we can miss something. Um, man, that bat's annoying. I forgot about it on the first playthrough. Oh, this is the projector room. Okay. And we have to go back and get the other thing. Might as well put this one in. Great. Now let's go to the mini library and get the Book of Evil. Where's the Book of Good? I don't remember. It's one of the books. Originally, that boss did give me a hard time. And I hadn't, I don't think I actually beat the game until 2018, so. So this is partially fresh in my head, but at the same time, I just, I don't know. I like the concept, I like the story, but I do not like that the item boxes are not in existence here. And well, yeah, that does give us a little bit of, you gotta manage your inventory type of business, it's still annoying. Oh, that's the Book of Good. Okay. Our next game, though, it's gonna be a game I've, I've never really played, except for like a few minutes, and that's Outbreak. And the same with Dead Aim, at least when we get to Resident Evil 4, I've played a little bit of that. I got to where you have to escort the little girl. And then I rage quit on a chainsaw bad guy. 
So. I mean, I even fought the lake monster, I believe. But, nah. That's gonna change. We're gonna actually beat Resident Evil 4. And with the next three games, there will not be any of the same shenanigans that I do in these games I've beaten. It should be fun. <laughs> why, why is it doubled up like that? Okay, whatever. That's not doubled up there, but man. Yeah. So there's fifth no sixteen seats. That makes sense on the table then. But the room itself where they would eat is kinda small looking, so I don't know. I kinda wish they would have expanded upon Wesker's story even more. Like, he went, if, if this game is technically canon, then he went to a prestigious place with Umbrella. How? What's it? Is he, like, one of the Rothschilds or something? Okay. Zero, one, two... Oh. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a thing I never noticed. Regulation for trainees. Training facility mission. Man. Yeah. Mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future Umbrella Corps. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce any, only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation, Management Training Facility. You know, a really cool, like, spinoff would be... Um... I don't need this. That... one of these, like, Resident Evil games. These are the people who went to this training facility. It'd be really cool, I think. Oh, you know, it'd be really neat, but I don't think it is that way. So, Resident Evil 7 takes place way after stuff in the other Resident Evil games. What if the way the story was set up is that that guy, the uh, welcome to the family guy, was actually one of the management and training people. And they're like, yeah, he was a failure, 
So now he's stuck in Louisiana. Not that Louisiana's a bad place, but just... We stuck him out there in the bayou, and... He went a little crazy and did his own genetic stuff. That would be interesting. Oh, look. The Book of Evil. Um, here we go. Yep, we want that. We don't care about this. We already read it. We no longer have a one-winged angel. Darn. What will Cloud Strafe do now? Is that guy following me? That's funny. Man, they could make a spin-off game of this where you're one of the investigation people. Be like Resident Evil Survive 4 or Yeah, it'd be 4. Be like you are part of the Umbrella Investigation team. Called to inspect the doings of James Marcus. Who Well He's kinda lost it recently. He's not in touch with his own creed that he preached. We should go check it out. Of course, this happened... This game is set a day before what occurs in the original Resident Evil game. Why aren't you letting me do it? It's, okay. Which is pretty neat. Some of these other games, the timeline just goes all sorts of weird. And we're left with trying to figure out when things are supposed to occur. Of course, to me, like... For instance, Resident Evil 7 happens after 6, and 6, like, chaos erupts place in places. So, oops, we can't use this door shut. Maybe 6 will let us know how that's resolved, um, because there's, there's a lot of zombies in places. So, I look forward to that. That's probably the only thing about Six that I look forward to, is closure to what happens to the whole world. Apparently Revelations 1 and 2 take place in between different games. So it's not even like, yeah, after Six, this happened. Nope. Of course, we're not going to play them in chronological order. We're playing them in a release order. Which I feel gives us a better sense of just what in the world happened to this game series. I mean, honestly, like, what happened? We have nothing here, do we? Apparently 4 is really good. I don't know. I haven't beaten it. But that's that's when the series kind of takes a turn. I'm 
not in a bad direction for a little bit. Oh, that was close. Thanks, Wesker. Not Wesker. Almost got me. Would have been so bad. Why is there a prison below here that the kids didn't know about it, I guess? <laughs> or what? I like, we're subletting our space for, uh, for the prison. Yeah. Any scrawled notes? No. Here we go. And this, this just makes it worse, right? Maybe they were doing stuff like in um, Survivor where it was, we need to torture these people. That way we can get the best test results, blah, blah, blah. That's neat. There's... Okay. I could have probably... Whatever. Could have probably figured out the logic behind there. That's okay. Yeah, that's super important right there because otherwise... Rebecca could die. She can't even attack him. And... Quite honestly, the whole... Uh, yeah. The whole, uh... Wesker and Birkin. I don't think they really need to show up. In these little cutscenes. I think it'd be cooler if, you know, you just read the file and you get this Marcus guy, right? But you don't get anything to do with Birkin or Wesker till maybe the very end. You think, well, that was interesting. I have to make my way to the mansion get some BOW data or something. Something cryptic, right? And you see Burke and he's like, well, I'm gonna go research more of the G-Virus. Do not mess this up. And that's it. I don't like these short monsters. There we go. We don't... Nah, we don't need to see any of that stuff. We're good. No loitering. That's what the sign says. Rebecca. We're not gonna loiter. Now you may want to lawyer. But we really can't. Man, this walls look really nice. I like the texture. They made a room just for a key. And they're like, what kind of room could it be? I don't know. Have a drain pipe or something going to a bottomless pit it's foreshadowing totally you go over here i don't need this roger 
Stay there. Okay. Yeah, let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Uh, I don't know. Press this button. This is your chance. Roger. Stay there. Roger. Hmm. Oh. Let's go. Fine. I'll go. Fine. Oh. See, I thought that that would have been good for us, but it's not. Oh. No, it was cool. Look, we saved some extra work. Push the button. This is like the worst thing. Like if those gates were actually still set up. Be like, yeah, you have to fight hunters, but the gates close and open. And if you don't like it. Too bad. What? There we go. Fine. Man, it'd have been better if they got the guy who voices Squidward to be Wesker in the new games. That'd just be funny. Ah, oh, Chris. Or somebody, some character actor that does like goofy, goofy, goofy things. Okay. I think it goes this way. Tiger. Then Snake Eagle. I mean, who designed this place? Oh, there we go. You know, I, I just think it'd be funny. Maybe they put out a voice pack for the game. Just be hilarious. Like, what if they got the lady who voices... Oh, in this upcoming game, right? They have that tall lady vampire. Well, what if they got Tress McClellan, or whatever her name is, who voices... Daisy Duck. A bunch of other things like that to be her. that you think of it just be fun or and it's sad nobody's really put the effort out to do it but the original games the sound files are just wave files why hasn't anybody like re-recorded it as goofier than it already is because it's really goofy in the original game I mean, you got things like. Let's go. And. Jill sandwich. Right? So. Have. Have, like, somebody who could do a really goofy voice. Do that. Don't mess with that. 
I I don't know. I am not a game developer. I am not a modder. For the most part, I I don't do that kind of stuff. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express once, so maybe I could do it. I don't know. I... <laughs> I just think that the new Wesker voice isn't very... I mean, it's good. DC Douglas does a good job. Eh? Oh, you don't have the key. You can drop that, can't you? Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, fun rooms. Let's go in here first. Get away, get away, get away. Dang it. I mean, they put a lot of silly costumes for them to wear in this game. So, they could always do mod packs. Oh, that was a lot better. Aim down, I guess. Notice how they don't show his hands touching the keys. That's because he's not really playing. You stay there. You. I'll go check over there. Fine. Fine. They took the effort to make those sound effects, right? They they could have redone it. Just for giggles. I can't believe the last time that I played. I forgot that Roger. the um piano unlocks that room and so you don't you're not stuck okay Rebecca you better get some health Congratulations, you now have obedience. Very good. It sucks that the special forces zombies in this don't walk around carrying their guns, toting their guns. Yeah, we're gonna use that. We don't care about achievements. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think we see her hands either. So, she's probably not. That's what they do in movies, right? People just pantomime playing the piano. You don't see their hands, so.
just be like no nope. now chris i think he played the piano and that's why it was so terrible and he had to have rebecca help her him because uh he was not very good I don't remember if we see Rebecca's hands when she's trying to play. Oop. Don't look at me like that, cat. I am also disappointed in the fact that we go to a water treatment plant as our last section instead of a lab. It just throws me off. Our general flow has always been it's a lab. You go to a lab of some type. Even Code Veronica had a lab of some type. Oh, nice. You can get him to push it when not playing as him. That's pretty cool. Oh, he must be really straining his, his eye lights up like every time he pushes. What? It was a joke. Don't look at me like that, cat. It'd be funny if all the enemies would look like boulders while you play as Wesker. Kind of as a homage to the whole Resident Evil 5 thing. Maybe. I mean... That does seem like something that she might be trained in. Maybe Wesker. Because, you know, he was at this training facility. So, he might, he might be trained. A good manager knows how to play the piano, right? The Creed. Of course. Being the three things from before and... Also, every good boy deserves fudge. That's the greed. Or face. One of those. Discipline. Obedience. And I believe Wesker has cleansliness. No. Unity. These are the tenets that you have to be to be a good little umbrella lackey
Yeah, just jump right up there, cat. Good job. Okay, well, here we go. You stay here. Fine. Mm. Oh my gosh, there are bats in the belfry. <laughs> I do the rim shot, but uh, I can't. That's uh, a giant bat. Not anymore. I can't believe they called it the hook shot. Be like, oh yeah, no, it's like the thing from uh, Legend of Zelda. The ocarina? No. Bottles? Well, we have herbs. The hook shot? No. Oh. I don't remember using it that much. Well, guess what? You don't use that much in here either. Follow me. Bye. Fine. He sounds so happy. That's why I think it needs he needs more voice lines. You wait there. I'll go. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, this is a pretty extensive lab, too. I mean, they've got like a lot of books. It's different chambers and stuff, so. It would have been cool if this tele or teleport. It would be cool if it um, shape shift into a hunter. Of course, that's just my opinion. that strange old man that we don't know at all I don't even know why I went in here there's nothing in here for us we skipped this room last time until the very end Oh, come on. Yep. Oh, he... <laughs> I know I didn't I didn't get the thing. That's okay. Okay. I just wanted to shoot up more guys first before I get the thing. 
Where's that container at? Hmm. Did I miss it? Surely I didn't miss it. I missed it. There's the green one. Oh. Bad it's in that one room, isn't it? Because it's not here. The tram room does not have it. Wesker. Lop. He has nothing. It's gonna be one of those things where it's just there and I totally missed it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, um, darn it. I don't remember where it's at. I've done this. gonna be something silly it's gonna be just sticking out like a sore thumb We 
make a lot of noise, cat, while giving yourself a bath. Because he can't use this. Like, oh, yeah, um, oh, well, we took care of that guy. Yep, In a spot that we would totally. Miss. Oops. Oops. There we go. Third time's trim. Yes, it makes sense, kind of. Or does it? It does not. Maybe the elevator goes left to right as well, because you know, we're here with it. It probably goes left or right as well. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, hey, hi. Maybe we shoot all zombies. All of all the zombies have to be dispatched. We don't want them to escape somehow. Well, definitely, because the training facility, I don't know it blows up. I remember seeing the video, but oh, it's the fan. I was like, what in the world is up on this thing? Oh, man. Oh, hey, buddy. And your friend. Oh. Well, we don't want any zombies to wander off to a place where they might not be blown up, so we have to dispatch all of them. Of course, after a while Oh, that's gonna be fun to try to get and run again. After a while, um, we're gonna be able to play Operation Raccoon City which is not canon but we get to kill a bunch of zombies. It is well, to be honest, it's relaxing to me. Of course, then again, with the whole... Oh, I forgot. I need Wesk to be back at the thing. With the whole Resident Evil 4 being more action-y, 5 and 6 also. Um, we're, we're good to a point. We're going to be just slaying zombies left and right. Because in these earlier games, um, you don't have to kill every zombie. The hunters, kind of, you want to get rid of. 
Definitely Lickers. Basically, any of these enemies, like these fodder type of enemies things, you don't have to worry about them. Does some weird looking, uh, those are some weird looking body bags. Look at that. They are very thin. Um, usually there's some heft. So. Why? Why did I do that? We don't need to use the thing yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm thinking of how much fun is going to be had soon. I use the term lightly for uh, such classics as Resident Evil 6. But Resident Evil 4 apparently is good, so. And 5 is. Well, it's okay. It should be fun. I'm really looking forward to playing these Outbreak games. Despite the fact that they're supposed to be very hard. As a game that you play co-op. I hope it scales the difficulty accordingly. But if it doesn't, that's fine. Oh, man. Hunters. They just had hunters in cages? My goodness. You know, after a while, we'll learn things like what the G-Virus means. And... Ancient civilizations. I mean, they really jumped the shark after a while. What else can we throw into this story? Oh, I know! Ancient civilizations. Maybe get that guy. The meme of aliens. Yeah, maybe get him. Somehow involved in this. And I like Silent Hill aliens, which is completely silly. Let's do serious aliens. That's got to be what it is. Okay, let's see if I remember the code from the top of my head. Did you just knock down my earbuds? Thanks, dude. Four. Eight. Six. Three. Yeah, pull a random lever. Uh, 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 uh. I do not like when there's like that type of thing.
Oh my gosh, this game is interesting. Leeches, of all things. Uh, uh oh. And you forgot something, Wesker. I like how they do a door change thing just to get that door open. Like, they didn't need to do that. They could have... No, I guess they would have to. Actually, no, they could have just faded to black and done it. But, oh well. We haven't even really left the GameCube and PlayStation 2 era of games. 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 Um. This is quite surprising, actually. Because this, this was a GameCube game. I know I'm playing it on the PC and everything, but originally this came out on the GameCube. Come. Roger. Oh no, a monkey. <laughs> she just slides. Because <laughs> the recoil from the gun. You could probably play the whole game doing that to a point. Be like, oh, I need to go backwards? Okay. Oh. So silly. I mean, I guess. They just had to add the the fact you had to pick the stupid thing up. They could have just been like, oh, the power got switched off. Or maybe take that thing into a different room. Instead of just having it there with leeches that don't even attack you. Ah, well. It's the little things. Let's go watch Wesker get... Pulled away from, uh, or pulled by the water and stuff. Nah, we don't need that. We've got one. Unless we can do dual gun. Or Kimbo, right? John Woo movie. Or other things. Here we are. Uh, what's over here? Okay. I don't even know why I did that. I should have gone the other way. Oh well. The very familiar Resident Evil 2 area. A couple months before Resident Evil 2. No camera. There's the factory key. This camera is actually looking at a tyrant somewhere. No poppy scary music 
when that thing jumped out. They could have, but they didn't. Is that a map of where we were just at? Oh yeah, the factory, there you go. This game. When it first came out, I had so much hype for Resident Evil 2 to get the remake process. I mean, they did one, and then they did this. I was like, cool. Now we're going to get Resident Evil 2. William Birkin was in this one. So they already had, like, you know, a, a change or a better graphic thing. They had this scene here in this game. Why? Why did we not get it? Eh. Oh. Let's get Enrico to show up. Hopefully he'll be safe for, you know, getting over to that mansion. It'd be terrible if he wasn't. like to point out this one actually has a butt compared to the other tyrant and here we go now we can either go up but we're just gonna go down we don't <laughs> we don't have to go back up there's nothing of interest I guess a little hallway or something but Now, if they made you loop back to the training facility, that would be awesome and annoying at the same time. Ah, oh, look at that. I remember the puzzle. This is a huge, huge water treatment facility. Now we can go down the, the elevator. Oh, that's not a door we can use. Okay. Now, I will admit, if this game was released again with the RE treatment, I'd probably buy it. Nope. Dang it. I was not prepared for that one. That's okay. We can make it.
There will be herbs and stuff somewhere. And if not, we can use the green. Look at that. Yeah, I'd buy it. I'd buy both. Heck, I'll probably buy the Resident Evil 4 one. I like Resident Evil. And that's without playing through all the games. I like it. I just don't like the game logic of shooting zombies in the head. Do not. There doesn't do anything. But, you know. It is what it is. Push that. Oh, come on, push it. I mean, it's it's okay. It's just annoying, especially in the actiony ones because with these actiony ones, like at least in four, when you pop a head off, it has mixed results. But like in Revelations and all the other games, it it does more damage, but. I don't need this. Okay. It's not like other games where a headshot just that's it for the zombie. I don't know. Um Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. I think they'll probably make the escorting stuff probably be more prevalent. I like you'll find that girl a lot easier and then you have to escort her everywhere. And I don't know why I brought him back up. Oh well. I would love to see it as, oh yeah, they, they redid the game, but they didn't really redo the game. They just upscaled it. Roger. I don't need this. And they fixed jankiness or something. I don't know. did was add real ray tracing that's that's all we added game takes forever to come out oh yeah no no we just we had to add that ray tracing and that's that's what made it take long one thing we know for sure though is it's not going to be like duke nukem forever where we have to wait 13 years and find out that it's a big disappointment Of course, I wonder once the remake does come out if they're gonna try to um, you 
not showcase the other game anymore, uh, the original. I didn't push the box far enough. And I used that SEO magic to make it so the new Resident Evil 4 is what's on the top of everybody's minds and the old one is just a memory. That was the wrong way. Whoops. We need to move him out of the way. Here, go over there. Well, that took a little longer than I wanted it to, but that's because I messed up. Oh well. This is your chance. Okay. They'll probably have more of that, uh... Get attacked by every single enemy at the same time type of business. Granted, it is kind of intense and a little fun. I mean, Resident Evil 5 did it, too. And that actually had those Executioner guys show up. So that was interesting. Naked zombies. Naughty, naughty. Let's check and see what's down here. I don't know why I just tried to pick that up. Yeah, go up the ladder. A note from the investigator. Cool. You, grab that. About the healing room. Nah. We take our chances. Wrong way. This way. I am kind of interested in seeing what um the VR version of four is gonna be like. Especially the river, or the lake fight, like... Get the note on the bed. I already read it. Because that lake fight was pretty... Pretty neat, but at quick time events. Oh, and the times you get chased by boulders. Either way, it should be interesting. I like that they're trying to keep the game interesting. I want that. I want this. Oh, I don't think we read this last time. Treatment Plant Manager's Diary. Darn it. Why is normal industrial waste being delivered here? This is Umbrella Corporation facility. We can't deal with this volume of matter. 
Plus, they're sending us contaminated materials that we can't process. What are we supposed to do? Well, looks like they're closing it down. Not surprising, using it like they did. Had to be done, but it was pretty sudden. It's not like they cared until now. Anyway, as long as I get out of here, I don't care what they do. Oh, hey, that's like... I think... Now? Maybe? I shot him. Eh, you know, they kind of did the same with uh, two and with the three remake, I guess. I haven't played the three remake yet, but it's different a little bit, right? So. Yeah. I hate those guys too. So much. And I didn't think it gra it was like in grabbing rage reach of me, but it was. So I quit. Sold my GameCube. Bought the PS4 or PS4, the PS2 version. Bought the Wii version. Um Because I thought it'd be cool. Oh, you know what? Here. Give that to her. Stay there. Okay. Yeah. Well, the the one remake was old. It's like 2002 or 2003. Um, I don't have the file open to say the exact date, but it is an old thing. Made new with, you know, being out on the computer, but it, it came out back then. This The 2 remake was pretty good. Um, they added that orphanage part, right? Which was neat, and the whole extra stuff of hacking as uh, Ada. And then three, I, I mean, people are saying that they took stuff out, but I cannot base my opinion on it until later. And they had subtle changes, I think, in, uh, two. It was okay. I liked it. It felt more coherent with the AB stuff compared to the other one. So there's that. Three was unique though overall. Oh, giant frog. Like, three had RNG. A lot of RNG. Dude, that was a cat, I hope. No, maybe it's not. Oh yeah, we need the card. Oh, let's go get the card. Way. 
I'm just glad that my playing uh, five really didn't mess anything up. You know, Leon, the stuff in four wasn't linked to five at all. And the whole, why is Jill the way she is? Which was kind of ta I mean, tacky, cheesy. This is probably the better word, it was cheesy. Oh, it was still alive. There we go. High powered battery. I don't know. I like this series, but the games that I haven't beat, it, it was a mix of frustration or just flat out not appealing. I mean, six, I got to a point, I was very close to beating that one. I just was like, I'm gonna go play something else now. Don't press the button yet. You go here. Fine. This is your chance. Roger. This doesn't even sound like it fits. Oh well. I think my favorite ones so far has been like Code Veronica, and that was pretty good. Um, three's okay. The RE1 remake is amazing. To me, at least. I really like that one. I mean, sure, you have a few extra Indiana Jones references besides the, the boulder. We got trap room where you have to replace an item. And the two boulders. I mean, it works. It's a good trap, right? Survivor was pretty good. We got to see a facility that made um, tyrants. Or Mr. X, basically. I wish they'd remake that one. That would be awesome. Oh no! Thank you. Uh, this way. I don't need this. Okay. This is your chance. Okay. No, Survivor came out on the PS1. for uh, both states. I am at the right door, good. Survivor 2 came out in Europe and um, what's it called? PAL regions. And it is nothing to write home about. All that it is is an arcade game of a weird retelling of the story of Code Veronica. So, 
that's that's nothing and it and it has like a dungeon mode no story involved just you run around and kill things and at least uh, operation raccoon city had uh Yeah, that's the Survivor 2, which is what? called Resident Evil it's the Queen. Survivor 2 Code Veronica, I think, is what it's called. Um, that one, not canon. Not even a good retelling. You know, at least the, uh, the stuff for, for 4, um, like Umbrella Chronicles and stuff is a retelling. Or not a retelling, but uh it's the way it is. And you know, decent to a point. And it has some some new stories with it too, right? This is the dumbest boss fight. I don't like this kind of stuff where you have to wait. I mean, it's not an issue this time, we're just pummeling on it, right? But it it was an issue the first time we played it. Now, Survivor, though, it was a PS1 game, and it was in first person. But the story is canon, according to this game. When you start, it talks about the Sheena, Sheena Island, which is uh, a tyrant facility for Mr. X. And there's like three paths you get to go, so you play the game like three times. The only drawback is you keep your weapons, and it is not that hard of a game. The last boss fight is hard, and getting to that last boss fight is a little difficult, but it's it's arcadey though, it's not like the other. And uh, surprisingly I beat it with the only cheesy thing of doing was at the end, rapid fire. And throughout the whole game I used unlimited ammo, or not unlimited ammo, but uh... But, uh Safe states. You don't even get a rocket launcher to shoot at this thing, which is kind of sad. But I am wondering, what happened to Rebecca's weapons? You know, she could have gotten the grenade launcher and the shotgun before leaving this place. Look, she's picking up a magnum that's not our magnum to shoot that thing. Why didn't she have that? Oh yeah, well he has it, but he could have given it to her. Some of them. Guys to brace his feet to shoot it. And that's Resident Evil with the Wesker mode. Not that bad. Uh, we still didn't get it. That's fine. Oh, we got a new costume out of... Okay. Let's uh, save and see what else we can do. Now it's purple. Nice. I liked Revelations. I haven't beaten Revelations 2, but I beat Revelations 1, and I really liked that... Even though it was originally episodic, it was fun. And I liked the little recaps that they had. It made me feel like I was watching a TV show. Plus, I could pick it up, play through a chapter, and then quit. And be like, previously on Resident Evil. 
Okay, so now we're just going to be terrible. Don't think about it. Oh, am I stuck at her? What if I pick? Okay, no game. Interesting. Rebecca. Yes, hi, cat. Ow. Restart. What does this do? Door to safety shut. There's no turning back. Yeah. Y'all say that all the time. Why is she still dressed that way? Uh, am I stuck in Wesker mode on this save? That sucks. Resident Evil That's fine. Zero. Watch this. Yep, 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 yep. My goodness. Oh, I guess I lost my Leech Hunter mode, didn't I? Let's check options and see. Yep, no extras. Okay. Look at all the t-shirts that we have. And the costumes were so awesome. Team Wesker costume. Leather. Goodness. Okay. Give me just a few seconds. That'll crash the game. This won't. Oh. Look at that. Wait a second. I didn't plan on it to have that. Oh, shoot. Um, the rapid fire is still on. <laughs> okay, let's quit. And with that. I could have sworn, because I didn't Zero. mess with that stuff, but okay. It's interesting. Maybe it just knew that's what I was going to give me. Give myself. Nope. Oh well. So that's... That's it. I'm not going to play the game again. I mean, sure, we did four things, but, or four hours, I would probably get it lower. Leather, that's just silly. Anyway, it's been fun streaming next, which might be tomorrow evening, depending on stuff, you can always, you know, check out on Twitter. I'm on there. Um, we will do Resident Evil Outbreak on the PS2. And I don't know if that's really canon or not. I mean, it takes place before and during Resident Evil 2, but it's like side stories. It's not stories of the main characters, so... Does it count as canon? Who knows? Who cares? We're gonna do it anyway. That's 
one step closer to being done with all the Resident Evil games. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day tomorrow. And as always, take care. Bye.